Now, from the Low Country's news leader, this is Live 5 News. Well, it was a big night for two sets of Tigers and a huge win for one of them. It just might not have been the Tigers folks here in South Carolina were rooting for, but LSU is ending this season undefeated and with its first college football national championship in more than a decade. Yeah, Kevin Billadu has been in New Orleans since last week and has the latest from the Superdome. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to New Orleans for our coverage of the national championship game and for Clemson. 29 wins in a row is an amazing accomplishment. Unfortunately, they could not reach 30 on Monday night, and that means their quest for a second straight national championship comes up short as they ran into a buzzsaw in the number one team in the country, LSU, and the Heisman Trophy winner, Joe Burrow, who run over the Clemson Tigers, final on this one, 42 to 25. It was the Orange Tigers that struck first as Trevor Lawrence opened up the scoring midway through the first quarter with a one-yard touchdown run to put Clemson on top 7-0. LSU would answer right back towards the end of the first quarter as Burrow connect on a 52 yard touchdown to Jamar Chase, tying things up at seven apiece after one. Second quarter now, after Clemson would go on top 10 7 with a field goal, they run a little bit of trickery, the reverse over to T. Higgins, and Higgins takes it down the sideline 36 yards in for the touchdown. Clemson goes on top by double digits 17 to 7 in the second quarter. But from there, LSU would take control. It'd be Burrow doing it with his legs just over a minute later, getting in from three yards out to cut that lead down to 17 14. Rest of the game, the Heisman Trophy winner would do it with his arm. Four minutes after that, he connects with Chase one more time to put LSU on top for the first time on the night, 21-17. And then with just 10 seconds to go in the half, Burrow finds Thaddeus Moss from six yards away, putting LSU on top, 28-17 at the half. In the third quarter, Clemson tried to claw back into it. Travis Etienne, the hometown boy, gets in from three yards out for the score to cut that lead down to 28-25 after a two-point conversion, but that's as close as Clemson would get on the night. Burrow connects with Moss again later in the third on a four-yard score and then hits one more on the night. The Heisman Trophy winner would go 31-49 for 463 yards and five touchdowns, handing Clemson their first loss in over two years, 42-25 the final. It's been a long time since I've stood in front of a team uh, with a loss. And uh, with this team in particular, uh, just really special to get back to this point. I'm just super proud of them. It's incredibly difficult to even get here and super hard to win it, that's for sure. We're going to be fine. We'll be back. But it just sucks not, not getting to finish the way you wanted to with, with those guys. I mean, we could have played better. Um, Obviously, ain't played as good as we wanted to. Too many big plays, and um, I feel like that was really like the X factor of the game. So for Clemson, the hurt from this one is going to take a little while to heal. They were right on the cusp of winning back-to-back -back national championships in their third title in four years, but they come up short, running into Joe Burrow and LSU. But still a lot to look forward to to the future for Clemson. They're going to bring back one of the best teams in the country next year, and they're going to be one of the early preseason favorites to win the title in 2020. That's going to do it for now. From New Orleans, I'm Kevin Bilodeau, Live 5 Sports.